In Texas, one of the most representative illustrations of the changing face of worship can be found in the Montrose neighborhood near downtown Houston. Here, two incredibly different congregations share the same church building and the same pastor. The West End Baptist Church is a 99-year-old fellowship that has slowly fallen into decline as the neighborhood around it has changed. Once a thousand-member church, West End Baptist now has an average attendance of about 70 on Sunday mornings. By contrast, Ecclesia, which meets in the same space on Sunday evenings, is a rapidly expanding congregation made up of young urban professionals, artists, students, and those seeking creativity in worship. At Ecclesia, the average age is probably 30. At Western Baptist, it's probably 75. Drastically different congregations, different people, very different heritage, and yet rooted in the same faith. So we're struggling and searching to figure out how we connect those two. Uh, almost everything that they need, we have. Youth, energy, vitality, a missional understanding of life. Almost everything they have, we need. Facilities, a building, a wisdom that comes with years of service to God. So it's, it's a really beautiful marriage. Like all marriages, is probably going to be filled with tension at times, and yet with tremendous beauty. We wouldn't call Ecclesia a, a postmodern church. We, we would describe ourselves as, as a church that's missional in a postmodern context. We believe that spiritual dialogue is really what we're to be about as a community. And art, visual art, film, music, literature, um, becomes the, uh, the focal point of that discussion. We really found that there were all these artists in our church that wanted to tell stories, that wanted a place for their work to be seen. We found artists all across the city engaging spiritual issues. And so we, we realized at some point, this is what we should be about. Art worship was born out of confusion and out of God's calling. I had gone to RISD for my education, and at the end of my senior year, I started to pray about where God wanted me to go with this gift, and I felt a calling to come back to Houston. And one day, I get this phone call from this man. He says, hi, I'm Pastor Chris C., and I would love to meet with you. I hear you're an artist, and I would love to see your work. Oh, my gosh. I had a heart attack because that was exactly what I'd been praying for. And here was a minister that knew about the arts seeking me out and asking me to employ my gifts to the church body was such an impact in my life. It gave me direction, and, and I love painting in church. Through the depths, through the heights of Art worship at Ecclesia is, is more, it's not this separate thing that's going on. It, we look at it very similar as the, the music that's played, as the prayers that are prayed as the scripture is read. Because so much of church is sitting and listening and receiving, and this is an opportunity to put forth what you're going through at that exact moment in time. A lot of times people will ask us if, if uh, having people paint during the worship service is distracting or confusing for people, and I just would ask them if they think singing during worship is confusing or distracting. Your love knows, your love knows you know, art for centuries has been ushered back and forth through the church doors, and, and we want to with Ecclesia be a place that is welcoming the arts back into our community. We believe that, uh, that Christianity is about telling the story of God. It's about telling this beautiful, wonderful, redemptive story that uh, there is a creator and that that creator uh, made us, that he longs to know us, and that in longing to know us, he made the ultimate sacrifice to become like us and even gave himself to the point of death. That's a story we want to tell. And God, we need to see you intervene in the midst of this. I think Ecclesia is flourishing because we have real people that love uh, telling the story of God and that we're engaging life where it is in art and film and music and where people really live. And in that place, telling the story of God, people are connecting to the story uh, in much more meaningful ways, I think.
in the postmodern world, uh, the attempt to understand how do stories, how do narratives function in the lives of people uh, has been very important. Modern world was all about words, a word-based culture. It was the primary cultural currency. This emerging culture is the primary cultural currency is images.